Hey, what's up, tubers? This is John, an SHTF hunter. Uh, I got something today here. This, this doesn't belong to me. It belongs to one of my neighbors. Uh, so a man that's really known me all my life. Uh, uh, he's a Vietnam vet. Kind of like a, he's kind of like an uncle to me. But uh, he uh, asked me in church if I could zero in a couple of rifles for, or guns for him. And uh, this is. For anybody that don't know, it's a Savage Model 42. It's a 22 Magnum and a 410. And a uh, pretty cool little gun. It's got a finger extractor to extract uh, shells. You just pull out like this. And you can flick a 22 mag out. But uh, and it's got a little, he's got a little old BSA scope on it, red dot. So. I told him I'd zero it in for him, and uh, <clears throat> I got it pretty well lined up. We'll fire a three-shot group and see what, how it groups. But uh, it's a cool little gun. I just kind of wonder if a person could change this out where you could break it down. Since it ain't my gun, I ain't going to mess with it. But uh, I'd almost try to change this pin out or be, or you could break it down and put it in the backpack. It'd be a cool little survival gun, you know get you some uh different cartridge adapters they make you know nine millimeters for 14 and stuff like that it'd be a cool little project uh first time i ever got to mess with one of these so that's why i thought I'd, since it's a survival channel I figured i'd show it to you fire a 14 right there Battery's getting kind of low in this red dot. It's hard to see. Alright. Go down range and see what kind of results we got. Alright. Looks like a Put all three a little bit off to the right. It's, uh, it's about a probably about a one and a half inch group, at 50 yards. So that's fairly respectable for, I guess. Uh, I always saw a 22 Magnum. 22 Magnum makes a really good survival cartridge, in my opinion. If you take a uh, small game and if you take deer sized game. Uh, you could with a 22 mag, you could you could shoot a deer in the neck just about with a 22 mag and take it take him down. But uh, it's not legal in the state of Virginia to use a 22 caliber. But anyway, it'd be a lot easier to take a deer with a 22 magnum than a 22 long rifle. But uh, all right, guys, we'll fire another three shot group here. Pretty close to being zeroed. Uh, I think it's a neat, light, handy little gun. I think it weighed in at about five pounds, so wouldn't be too awful bad to have the backpack. 
go check that group out and they shoot a pop can or two with the shotgun. Alright guys, so this was my, this was two of my last shots. I fired a flyer over here, but all in all, it's pretty good. I think it'll work. Uh, should be all right at a hundred, maybe a little further. So, uh, yeah, let's go fire a couple of shotgun shells. This review wouldn't be complete without using the shotgun barrel. So, got some Winchester two and a half inch six shot. Got some uh, pop cans at about 25 yards. Gonna represent rabbits. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you this. This is where you break it down at. It does have a safety also. Uh, now, the hammer is like the Model 24s, which you gotta push it down to use the shotgun. Uh, what's going on here? Houston, I'm encountering a little problem. Uh oh, uh, shell, the shell thing went all the way in. Uh -oh. Let me bring y'all back here in a minute. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. I had the hammer back and it wouldn't allow me to push it all the way in. Maybe a safety feature. Alright. Now, uh, one thing I was going to say about 410s, um, you know, I had Model 24s, but, you know, with the Model 24s, you got 20 gauges, 12 gauges, and uh, you ain't going to be able to carry it many shells in long term. Long term survival uh, situation, you ain't going to be able to carry a lot of big shells, but 410s, you can carry quite a few 410s. So, uh, let's shoot these rabbits. I'm on the run, boy. Go check the results. Shoot the wabbit, shoot the wabbit, shoot the wabbit till it's dead. Shoot the wabbit, shoot the wabbit, shoot the wabbit, shoot the wabbit. Shoot the wabbit. <laughs> All right, tubers. Looks like I got about five hits at 25 yards on this pop on pop can, or we'll call it a rabbit. Oh, right, there's another one. One, two, three. Four. Actually, got six hits on this rabbit. Let's check his other rabbit. He's still standing. I may have missed the, this rabbit. I got one hit. The uh, battery's getting low in the red dot and I can't hardly see it. So, but I did get five or six on this one, so that's good. May take it back to a, well, I probably ain't gonna be able to see a hundred yards to. I was going to shoot a pop can of 22 mag 100 yards. I don't know if I'll be able to see a dot or not. We'll try it. Ah, right, the battery's about dead, guys. In the camera and the red dot. I don't know if we'll be able to see. I can barely see it. I launched that one toward a uh, hot can, and we'll launch the other one toward the uh, blue target. Uh, toward the blue target's head.
I got it off to the left though. All right, tubers. I got no hits at 100 yards, but it's not the gun's fault. It's uh, the batteries on the red dot's about dead. <laughs> the batteries on this camera is dead. So, this is John SHTF Hunter. I'm out.